This is a mug. A boring, standard old mug. This is old technology because, my friends, we now have smart mugs. Today I'm going to unbox the Ember temperature controlled ceramic mug that includes an app to know exactly what temperature your coffee is going to be all day long. Nice box. Again, minimalist is the name of the game these days and they've got it. Looks like there's an outer an outer layer here. Can't get the outer layer off. It's extremely tight. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, maybe not. Uh, of the package. Temperature matters. A few degrees can make a big difference in taste. Uh, what? Oh. Reinforced ceramic coating, stainless steel core. Nice size, has a nice feel to it. It's very solid. It comes with a base. Okay. Dry it well because it'll probably catch on fire if you don't. Water can cause cause damage to the coaster, so dry your mug before placing it there. To set up your Ember, download the latest version of the Ember app. Ember is hand wash only. Can't pop this thing in the... Oh. Dr don't drink liquids over 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 62 degrees Celsius. That's good to remember. You want to hang that up on your wall. To turn on your mug, press the power button located on the base. Before you turn me on, charge, oh, and this just rests on here, and they've got it in a ring, so you can you can put it any direction. I'm gonna have to pair my coffee mug to my phone. Huh. So while that's charging, let's see if we can pair this thing while we're at it. Allow Ember to access your location while you are using the app. Why in the world does my mug need to know where I am in the world? If I don't allow, I wonder what's going to happen. I'm going to not allow. I don't want my mug tracking me. Meet Ember. Yes, the world's most advanced control mug. Power on. To turn on your mug, push the power button. Intuitive technology allows the mug to sleep. Oh, good. Not only does my mug need to charge, it needs to sleep. <laughs> Pairing your mug. Press and hold the power button for five seconds. Four or five seconds, not four. Fur. It's blue. Found. Attempting to pair. Would you like to pair your mug? This is indeed the future. What? Uh oh, I didn't move quick enough. Scroll back and try again. Pairing your mug. Okay. Hold down. One, two, three, four, five ish. Blue. Maybe I don't put it back down. Found. Attempting to pair. Connected. We've successfully paired and connected to your ember. Oh. I have to create an account to control my mug going in through Facebook and now this is the best part I think my amber coffee mug can now post to my Facebook page <laughs> Ooh, you can change the color of your LED light hopefully the mug will uh, change its color automatically and post updates to my Facebook page for me now that See, today I'm feeling, I'm feeling feisty orange right there. Done. What's new? Version 2.0 introduces the device menu, which can be accessed. Oh, you can control multiple mugs. Whoa, it says it's 79 degrees in my mug. There's one thing. It says, do not get your, your, your plate here wet. Which isn't going to be the easiest thing, judging the fact that you're putting a liquid directly above it. The Driftaway Coffee, they tend to enjoy coffee when it is 120 to and 140 degrees. So, it says that I have my optimum set to 130, which is right in the middle. 
that's good. And the current temperature is 116. Oh no, there's already system updates. There is a mug update. Your Ember battery is too low to run the update. Please charge and try again. I now have to update my ceramic coffee mug. I can get push notifications if I want to get push notifications about when uh, my coffee is at the right temperature. That I do want. I do want to know. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of work done while my um, coffee mug charges and gets itself to the right temperature. I'll be awaiting a push notification when that moment occurs. Oh, the perfect temperature of 130 degrees has been reached. Let's force touch in there. Boom, 130. So now I've hit 130 degrees. I've been push notified that my coffee is at the optimal temperature. The side of the mug does not feel very warm. That's interesting. Let's have us a drink. Mm. That is the right temperature. Not too hot, not cold at all. I think one might be able to get used. How high can it go? Ah. 145 optimal temperature I could probably do 146 but limitations of technology we'll stick at 145 if you're looking for a quality smart coffee mug this is the one for you you got to get one yeah this, is, this isn't really a suggestion it's an order sorry it's your fault for watching Fuck.